Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Gosh, this time change has me all messed up. I woke up late today, so I'm late getting on my live. My name is Dr. Kelsey. Welcome to the Dr. Kelsey Show, where we go live at almost 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. So today, we're going to talk about cardio and should you do cardio before or after a workout? So my clients ask this question all the time. It's actually one of the frequently asked questions in one of my welcome packets, which I'm now in the process of converting to a welcome course for my clients. So um, this is something I go over as initial onboarding kind of fitness 101, if you will. Um, I'm going to give you guys the short, quick and dirty answer first. Your cardio should always be after your strength training routine or on a different day, and here's why. In terms of your physique, in terms of building a physique, in terms of building the body you want, strength training should be your priority, okay? Especially for women who are of, you know, childbearing age and they tend to gravitate towards cardio and we all love, you know, sitting on our spin bikes and our Pelotons. A lot of times what I find is that women need to prioritize building muscle over cardio. And that's just reality. And that's a lot of times what gets women from point A to point B in their fitness. So, but regardless of who you are listening to this, regardless of gender, regardless of um, goals, strength training should be your priority when you're building your plan, building your workout plan, okay? So what that kind of means is when we boil it down is that if you're doing cardio beforehand, and we've already I've already told you guys the answer to this, right? All of your um, cardio should be after, right? Um, thanks, Erin. Um, so, look, now my, I'm so tired, you guys. I'm so sorry. This time change has me all messed up. Um, if you're doing your cardio beforehand, basically, you're tiring yourself out for your strength training routine, right? So if you're going into doing your cardio and you're, su- then you, you do your cardio, you're super exhausted. What you're basically doing is you're taking all of the carbohydrate stores in your muscles that you would be using for your strength training routine, and you've already used them up. For your cardio, right? So regardless of what kind of cardio you do, it should always be after your strength training routine because you need to be prioritizing muscle building in order to have a good physique, right? Now, secondary to that, you guys know I'm a chiropractor by trade. That's what Dr. Kelsey is. I'm a chiropractor. Um, so I'm very concerned with clients about injury prevention, okay? So if you're going and doing really intense cardio and you're sweating up a storm and you're going from that state kind of depleted again we talked about depleting you know glycogen stores from your muscles and you're going into the gym and then you're doing your lift are you going to be more or less susceptible to injury way more susceptible to injury right because you're already tired so if you're lifting is any i know my dog is pissing off my cat hey get out of here go This is not your room. Go. And if your lifting routine is worth anything, right? I mean, anyone can go grab a couple of two pound dumbbells and just, you know, do little curls or do little overhead presses or whatever they do with them, right? But if your lifting routine is worth anything, if it's actually doing anything, if it's actually valuable, if it's actually difficult, if it's actually going to produce change in your body, then you should be concerned about doing too much cardio before your lifting routine, okay? Because you will be more susceptible to injuring yourself during that lifting routine, okay? So long story short, your cardio should always be after your lifting routine or on a different day, right? So, or or a different time. So I guess let's kind of narrow that down a little bit further, right? If you wake up in the morning and you do cardio, you know, first thing in the morning, and then you do your lifting routine at, 5 or 6 p.m., that's usually going to be okay, right? Because you've probably had three or four meals in between there. You've pretty much recovered from that morning cardio session. You're going to be all right, right? Um, But if you're doing them back to back, like if you're going to the gym right now and you're going to do your lifting session and then your cardio, that's the order it has to be in, right? The other option is to be doing these things on different days, 
right? So if you do, if you're at the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, getting your four days in of lifting, maybe Tuesday and Thursday are your cardio days and Sunday is your rest day, right? So having them either at like different times of the day, like drastically different times of the day or on different days is also different than not doing them back to back, right? <clears throat> because you have a little bit more recovery time and leeway there. So just some food for thought with that. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry this live was such a mess, you guys. This morning, I am a mess, if you can't tell. Um, I hope everyone is acclimating to the time change better than I am and my family. Um, but regardless, cheers. I will see you all tomorrow where I will hopefully be more organized. Thanks.